Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on for you. What is happening for Libra? The Page of Wands. You could have some young person around you. Fiery, energetic. Could be a fire sign. Eric, Sagittarius, Leo. They bring you a lot of excitement, joy. The Magician. They have a lot to say. They're always trying to be persuasive or persuade you into doing, into buying, into going, into this, into that. The Chariot card. Um, some of you, this is, this is about losing weight or getting in shape or being structured or being focused on yourself or getting fired up, excited about maybe a new you, um, needing to have more discipline, the two of wands. Some of you have two minds about this. The ace of swords. It's like you need to get truthful with yourself about doing this thing. Details. Make sure that um, you're looking over details also of contracts or things with words or some papers with words or looking over something, going over, dotting the eyes and crossing the t's the two of wands there's going to be some knee jerk opportunity that presents itself to you but you're gonna have to go over yeah the high priestess it could be something that allows you to work from home or this could be passive income something that you don't have to do much for this yeah this could be passive income this could be using your skills and getting paid for it okay this could be wise counsel guidance you could be giving guidance or guide you could be teaching others to guide yeah the devil card uh, don't be fearful of this. Uh, know that you are more than enough. Nine of swords. Don't rest in the energy of, you know, the worst thing possible or thinking of the worst thing possible or what won't happen or what can't happen. Um, this is also some of you having to go back to work. You had a four of wands. This could be about your home or home. Um, later in the month, you could get some news that puts you in a place. Something about the home here. Yes, that somebody's moving or moving out or there's going to be like a move here, quick, fast move or, or whatnot. Puts you in a place of, you know, desperation or um, puts you in a place of, uh, you have two of, two of cups here. Some contract. There could even be somebody trying to come back to you, have reconciliation with you. You're not sure of it. This person makes you nervous. You want to go back to this feminine energy. You want to rush back to this person and um maybe have reconciliation you think this person is going to leave you okay you're saying anything to keep this person with you something about procrastination do the things that you say you're going to do two of pentacles is too much up in the air nothing is being manifest here it says the work you do here and the two of pentacles will show up in the four of pentacles where you'll have stability the tower card could be dealing with the scorpio you could be dealing with something, some regimen, dynamic um, way of thinking. Something is all of a sudden, okay? Something suddenly gets found out. Something suddenly happens. Something falls down. Some false paradigm. The Empress, this even could be sudden pregnancy or sudden uh, upheaval to a new star six of cups suddenly finding your soulmate or suddenly coming back to your soulmate or reconciliation or realizing that you love someone simpler times yeah the sun card realizing that somebody is the one that you want to be with them or they want to be with you this person brings you a lot of happiness and contentment this could be your person you could be realizing that on the seven of pentacles maybe you guys had some time apart where you were not together and um but you knew it wasn't over you were thinking about this person. You were frustrated with how things were going. But you knew that you would come back together eventually. The Queen of Swords. This could be you. could be someone else. This is an energy of... Um, could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay. Uh, they want truth. They want clarity. The they, they have questions. They don't know if you're serious. Before they allow for reconciliation. Or something needs to be reconciled. They want you to ask, answer all these questions. Or they have to ask you all these questions. Yeah, before we start this again, the Eight of Pentacles, before we go through this cycle again, before you move in, okay, Four of Cups, the Five of Swords, before you, somebody doesn't want to reject the relationship or they don't want to miss out on the opportunity. Somebody was coming back because they don't miss out on the opportunity. 
somebody has questions that need to be answered before somebody gives the other person another chance. The five of pentacles, you know, somebody doesn't want to feel used or get used again. Um, they don't want reversal. Yeah, th this could be you. Somebody doesn't want to get used by maybe you, Libra. They don't feel they don't want to be taken advantage of. The temperance card and the star. This is about, um, okay, if we come back together, if we heal this, if I compromise, if I let you do this, if I allow you to come back, what are we doing? What are we releasing? How are we moving forward? I don't need you to come back and, you know, destabilize me and bring, you know, you know, lack of balance. Also, this is about somebody changing big, big, fortunate change. Libra, you don't see this a big dream happening for you. An angel of temperance trying to bring you wish fulfillment. You don't see this. Something is changing for you. Your fortune literally could be changing. Somebody's asking questions of somebody coming back or leaving or somebody's got deep some some real questions in, in terms of maybe a contract or somebody else that came in between or why we took this break. Uh, who is this other person? Have you really changed? Uh, what do you want from me? I don't somebody doesn't just they just don't want this to be secret anymore. They don't want any secret relationship. Somebody wants to know about this other person. Someone wants to know why why the change now? Why the change of mind? Someone was not realizing that uh, the other person, either you Libra or your person was the one, the soulmate, a high level soulmate, the person that they're supposed to be with. Somebody cut somebody off and now it's about making amends to come back. But the other person is saying we've been here before. So what is going to be different about now? So I have questions. I need answers. If you can't give me that, I might have to stop you at the door. No, you cannot come back into my life. That's what the reading really primarily says. Also says some of you need to get serious about maybe your regimen, your routine in regards to your health and losing weight or some goal here or maybe even travel. This is what I have for you, Libra. If it resonates for you, go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Thank you. Many blessings to you. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday night, 930 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you again. Take care.